Hi, this is Mike, and I wanted to take a second and make this short video here for all you business owners out there in the marketplace. And this really applies to business owners that I say have a real business, and I don't mean that in a derogatory fashion, but more towards those that have bricks and mortar, service companies, professional providers, as opposed to those that are strictly online. Even though the strategies and tactics and the things I'm going to show you in this quick video would apply to both online, most of the content's geared towards those people that have a uh, offline business. Uh, they may have an online one, but mostly it's offline. And it's something that I've learned over the last 40 years and was taught to me by my mentor early on. And one of the first questions that I always ask business owners is, tell me, how do you grow your business? And when I ask that question, they kind of look at me like dumbfounded, like, well, what do you mean? I go get more customers. And that seems to be the standard answer that if they want more business, they want more revenue, they just try to run more ads or find a way to get more customers. And they always seem to forget about the customers they already have or how to monetize those in a very systematic way. And that's the key. So what I'm going to do right now is stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to show you three things you can do to exponentially grow your business by doing these three things. It's kind of like that one plus one equals three. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do here in this short little video clip here. So one of the first things is step number one, is the first thing you have to do, or the first thing you wanna do is increase the number of clients. And that's kind of obvious. That's like, yeah, Mike, no duh. Uh, who doesn't know you have to get more customers to get more business? But let's say I wanted to increase my business, you know, two, 300%, how would I do that? Would I, if, if we start with 1,000 clients, Okay, and I always call them clients as opposed to customers. It's something I, I learned from one of my mentors that client represents a fiduciary responsibility to treat them with the utmost respect. You work for them, uh, never sell them more than what they need nor less than what they need to get the re desired result that they're trying to achieve. And I do that a lot of times in one of my companies I've had for almost 20 years now. Uh, if I think that a customer's made a purchase that is not gonna get them the results, I'll just tell them I'm not gonna to sell to them. It may sound funny, but I'd rather have a customer not buy than have a customer buy, not buy enough, and not get a result, and then go around and talk bad about my company. Uh, likewise, you don't ever wanna sell them more than what they need, and I'm sure all of us out there have experienced that before when in business or buying something from somebody. So the second thing that we can do is we can get them to buy more often, okay? That's obviously logical. If we've had a customer that comes in, uh, for those of you people that maybe are in the, I want to call it the order taking business, you've got a retail establishment and people come in, that'd be like a McDonald's. They just come back and they buy more and more and more. And then the third thing that you can do to exponentially is increase the size of the order. So, you know, you got the customer that walks in at McDonald's, I want a Big Mac, and then they ask you, you know, if you want to supersize that or increase that. So that gets the size of the order up. Uh, when they're making that purchase. Same thing if you're in a service business, an air conditioning business, and you go out on a service call, you may want to upsell uh, some other service besides what they came there for. So if we take an example like this with a thousand clients, and uh, let's say they spend $100 per year with you, and they purchase, uh, let's just say two times a year, what does that give us? That gives us a business that generates $200,000 annually, okay? And if we wanted to increase that business or we wanted to grow that business to 600,000, uh, you might think, well, gee, we may need to get, you know, obviously if that's 300, we'd have to get 3,000 clients to do the same thing. Well, that's a lot of work, that's a lot of people, it's a lot of overhead, that's a lot more probably employees, a lot more hassles. So if we do one simple thing, let's just increase the number of customers by 10%, and now we've got 1,100 customers or clients. And let's say we also increase that they buy more often. Let's say they buy, and this shouldn't be this, let's say we get them to buy 10% more. So um, this would be 110, okay? And then let's say we also get them to buy 2.2 times a year. Okay, and actually, I'm a big dummy, and I'm not going to start this video all over again, but this should be the size of the order. I was in a real big hurry to get this done. 
Um, and this should be get them to buy more often. See, we're all human. Um, we get them to buy two point time, two times a year. So in that scenario, we do our math, and I think our math is correct. This would give us two hundred and sixty-six thousand two hundred dollars over here. Okay, which is roughly a thirty percent, thirty-three percent increase in revenue. And all we did is get them to increase ten percent here. So you can see the exponential growth of what that does in the long term. But now let's say we do a little bit better job and we get them to 33% more customers or clients. So here we've got 13, 33. So it's just one third more, it's not that much. So if you equate that out, it's not gonna be 600,000. We're gonna go like this and we're gonna say, okay, in this case, let's say we get them, the average order size is $125, okay? And we get them to spend, or do it three times a year. Now we have 499,000, yes, I've got a cheat sheet, $895, which is a what? Almost a 250% increase in revenue by simply increasing our client base by one third, increasing the size of our order by 25%, and getting them to buy one more time. And you might say, that's so simple. Who couldn't do that? But you're right. But if you don't have systems in place, if you don't have strategies and tactics to, to do this, most business are very one-dimensional thinking. How do I get more clients? So I want to thank you for taking the time. If you got some value out of it, give it a like, give it a love, leave me a comment below. And if you know of a business owner who is looking neat and could use something like this, then please, by all means, share it with them. Um, it, it, would be, it would be a great service to me, probably a great service to them. Um, one thing I forgot. That's okay, I'm not going to. So I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. God bless, and I look forward to seeing you in another one of my videos.